Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Zachary Williams and I am a Fayette County Special Olympics athlete and will be your MC today. It is awesome that so many of you are here. And in celebration of the Spread the Word Inclusion Campaign, we are honored to have both local and state government and our local communities here. The Spread the Word Inclusion Campaign helps us to, helps us to make our world be a friendly place. Thank you for showing your commitment to advocate for the acceptin, acceptance and respect of people with intellectual disabilities. Now, I would like to hand the microphone over to County Commissioner, Mr. Vasides, Angela, Zim what, what? Angela Zimmerink, and Dave Lord. Spread the word. Spread, uh, this proclamation is titled Spread the Word Inclusion. Whereas the past 10 years, spread the word to end the word has started the conversation with respect. And whereas, continue our conversation on respect. We want to, to go boldly into the next 10 years. Spread the word. Inclusion is continuing our success through the ongoing efforts by Special Olympics and our supporters to inspire respect and acceptance. Whereas, by advocating for inclusion words and actions so that we can end discrimination on individuals with intellectual disabilities and whereas the campaign is intended to engage schools, communities, government, and whereas the campaign promotes the inclusion and acceptance of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, whereas spread the word to end the word was founded by college students and continues to be led by passionate young people along with Special Olympics athletes and communities across the United States and many other parts of the world. And whereas respect and inclusion words and actions are essential to the movement for dignity and humanity of people with intellectual disabilities. There are many hurtful, dehumanizing and exclusive effects effects of in exclusion of individuals with ind intellectual disabilities. Therefore, let it be resolved that we, the Fayette County Commissioners, do hereby proclaim March 6, 2019, as Spread the Word Inclusion Day in Fayette County. Be it further resolved that we encourage residents to include persons with disabilities and to be mindful that our language affects attitudes and our attitudes impact actions. Signed by the Fayette County Commissioners. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to your Fayette County Courthouse. Make sure you come back and visit us whenever it's a little bit warmer. We'll take you, give you a walk around the, uh, the, the premises, and I think you'll really enjoy your county courthouse. Let us unite today, tomorrow, and every day. Let's continue to spread the word. We're here for you, and we know you're here for us. We can do this together. Thanks. It's pretty neat to have you in the courthouse. Uh, two years ago, we met at the Rotunda in Harrisburg. And it was a real privilege to uh, be in Harrisburg and, and you guys all show up and, uh, and share that time together. And it's a, something that we need to really work hard at to make sure everyone knows that, that we're all the same. In God's eyes, we were formed the same way and we're all loved by him. 
and each and every one of us that are here in this room today and across this country and across the world are the same way. So let's spread the word that everything is great with everybody and we all are a part of God's creation. It's a wonderful thing to be that part. Thank you very much. There you go. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Please welcome Senator Pat Stefano. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Zach. That was a very special introduction. Thank you. One of our finest athletes, indeed. If anyone had a chance to be at Seven Springs for the Winter Olympics, the Special Olympics held right here in our own area, people from all over the state came to, to compete in our backyard. It was very exciting. I was glad to be there to welcome the athletes on to the, into the rotunda as we prepared for the uh, lighting of the torch. It was very fabulous. And if any of you saw the torch come down the, the ski slope, it's fascinating. So if you haven't had the chance, keep it on your calendar for next year. We'll be back. Um, so today we're here to talk about spreading the word. And I'm here to say we're going to spread the word. Spread the word of respect spread the word of inclusion, spread the word of tolerance, because we're all special. Imagine a world where we're all the same. Be a very boring place, but fortunately, we don't live in that world. We're all different. We all bring something to the table. We all bring some color and excitement because we're different and we celebrate our differences and uh, we celebrate the joy amongst all ourselves. So I'm so glad you could come into a different courthouse. Instead of the Capitol, we're here in, in the Fayette County Courthouse to again celebrate our special differences, our special differences and our specialties. Thank you so much, and I appreciate all that you do. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Okay. We have some very special guests here today who are willing to share their personal experience when they dealt with being made fun of or made feeling unwanted to their disability. Ida, Kusher, would you please come up? I like to go to the ARC because I have a lot of friends that take care, care about me. I like to volunteer in the community to see people that are nice to me and do not treat me differently. The R word is offensive because there was a teacher that would say hurtful words and hurt my feelings and make me sad. Feel, please do, in the, do not use the R word because it is not a nice word to say. Amber Kikulin. I remember I remember going to school and all I would like see all these people that would come up to me and just like hit me or like, but after that I got, I told people like, it's not nice to hit people. But then they told me that they said they called me the R word and I kind of didn't like it because it's not who we are. We're, we're more than that. So we, should be not labeled as H, as like you, but still have, we do have issues, we do have problems. If we can be labeled as you, then maybe that would make us feel better. And next 
is Haley Summers and her mom, Tammy Dominic. Her, her mom. Hello. One of the things we like to talk about is how people don't always talk to Haley. They will talk above her or talk at her. But it's very nice to always try to include the person that you're talking to, whether it's in restaurants or in schools. The teachers always talked above her. They never actually spoke to her. Not, not never. They did sometimes. But the main thing is to try and include people by actually speaking to the people whenever you see them. Just saying hi is the best way to do it. Since our county manager is absent, my mom, Mary Williams, will speak now. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> thank you. I just wanted, I wanted to add on to what Tammy said. That is so important that we remember. We just um, treat everybody the same, whether or not they have a disability or not. And when you're having a conversation, I love that you brought that up because it's so important that we speak to them directly because then they start to feel that they don't matter or they're invisible. Um, and as far as Special Olympics, we're happy to have about 150 athletes here in Fayette County. We're trying to grow that program every day. And um, I wanted to say that it's an honor, it's actually a privilege and a blessing to be part of these guys' lives. And we get, I get so much more out of it, I think, than they do. They don't understand, they don't realize the effect that they have, the positive effect they have on people's lives but it makes you feel grateful and thankful for everything you have because these guys, a lot of them, are struggling with medical issues or whatever, and they always have a smile on their face. So I say we need to spread the word uh, inclusion and respect and um, just to remember we're all, we're all in this together. We're all the same. Thank you. Let's hear it for these ladies who bravely shared their stories. Thank you for all spending your time from your busy schedules to be here today. By joining together to show our support and commitment by, and by helping the world inclusive for, make, to make the world inclusive for everyone, regardless of disabilities. <laughs>